Uh, like you want to do Jesse and then Mike? Sure. All right, Jesse, you're Hi, live Jessie. with Eric and Jenna. Hey. Hey, how you guys doing? Good, Pretty good. good. I should not have asked that. It's a whole meme about people would ask that. Oh, it's okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh anyway, um, I just wanted to address. Um, do I know that Jenna? I put a thing on your page that um, had a thing with. Um, there's a meme that had to do with Jesus. Um, oh, you're Jesse. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> this is a friend of mine from Facebook. Oh, okay. <laughs> Online. Hi, Jesse. Uh, um, Eric, I love you. Um, Aww. Which, Yay. Uh, um, love you guys together. I was just listening to you guys talking. And um, it was just, I mean, I've gone through years of therapy. And I was like, you guys are hitting it. Right on the head. Oh, that's good uh, to hear. Thank you. We really appreciate that. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. And um, I, anyway, Jenna, I wanted to talk about the. <clears throat> I put that meme about um, Jesus, and then how it, like everybody was like fighting over it in the comments underneath it. Mm-hmm. I, and, just, just, just. I'm sorry, guys. No, it's okay. Just remember, thousands of people are watching this. Let's make sure that everybody's in on the story. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, no, no, no. It was just uh, a Jesus comment. Uh, and I didn't leave anything out, just that people were fighting okay. uh, over the um, meme about it. And there were theists and atheists. Okay. And it was that the uh, theists, for the most part, were the most violent. Hmm. And the atheists were just sort of like calm and like, you know, yeah, whatever, dude. Mm -hmm. And then the theists were like, you know, I'll beat you to a bloody pulp. And it was just like, wow. And it was like, you know, all this in the name of love. Yeah. So your question is, how do we get around that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's got to be some way to do it in a way that um, (laughs) we can all just get along, you know. Yeah. And so and the thing is with a lot of atheists myself included is just that you know it's just so annoying because we've been manipulated for so long that there's just a lot of um animosity there. Mm. So Jesse, you and, Jesse? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's up to you to be an example. The fact is is you can't okay. choose for other people, but if you can be a part of making it better by making sure that your interactions are better, then in that way you've okay. helped some small bit. And if you can be, if you can lead by example, do so. I'll give you an example. Um, I have a Christian apologist sleeping on my couch this weekend. Okay, cool. His name's Dean. He's in the studio audience. Hey, Dean. Hello. Um, <laughs> Dean actually came out here to teach a class on apologetics yesterday. And we agree on a lot of things, those things having to do with how we treat each other, um, you know, what we care about, how we should treat other people in society. And we disagree on the deep philosophy, but we're able to have those conversations so much so that he's actually a friend and I, 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 I trust him to a degree. He's, he's a really cool dude. And um, because of that, I want to have more discussions with him and um, you know, small self plug. Those discussions are going to be on my channel to be released. <clears throat> um, but um, yeah, the, the more that we can interact and the more that we can show, hey, we can have these mutually beneficial discussions that are, um, that are kind and are patient and are practicing a good degree of Not just rationality, but you're giving them the benefit of the doubt. Um, being charitable, charitably listening. Mm. When you can do that and you can show that, that's how we're going to start getting change. And the other piece is, dude, when you're talking to people online, you're going to get keyboard warriors. It's going to happen. When you know The, the benefit yeah. of anonymity and the benefit of not talking to somebody's face is huge. And... I'm kind of coming to the conclusion that that's just how people are when they think they can hide in anonymity or don't have to meet someone face to face or don't have to deal with the consequences of the crappy things they say. They're going to say crappy stuff. 
That doesn't mean that that's indicative about how we treat each other. It's indicative about how shitty online interactions can be. Yeah. Well, that's very interesting that you say that because the person that was going to quote beat this someone to a bloody pulp is someone that I've known since the early 80s. Um, Now, I seriously don't think that he would do that if it was in real life. Um, But the thing is, he was saying that to someone that said things uh, a lot less than I have said to him online before. And I've, I've, you know, we've talked online about this before. Yeah, that sounds like a perfect example. Real quick. a lot worse. Okay. Yes. I'm sorry, real quick, I just wanted to say that in my experience with having to talk with certain family members that um, some of them have come off um, extremely hostile to me and what y'all get to see right now is people being really nice to me. Um, So it's a lot harder to keep yourself calm and collected when you're being uh, verbally attacked and especially when it's over online and you, you can't just stop the conversation. You know, it's, it's ongoing. And so what I've learned is that sometimes you can't get through to them, but the times that I have actually made any progress was when I stopped just battling them and just going back and forth and responding to the little quips that they made and just be like, hey, I'm trying to have an honest conversation here, and if you want to you know, call names and you want to try to condescend to me, then maybe we can try again later. Or you know, just call them out in a very calm, respectful, honest way, and say, "This is what you're doing, and this is what I'm trying to do. How can we move forward?" Mm. Yeah. And that's that's the only thing that's given me success with those family members so far. That's awesome. I've, right. I've ever since doing this show, I've been getting tagged in on every single argument people have with their mm. crappy uncle, and so I no longer do it. I I I just. I, I think me. it depends on the person, you know. Yeah. And so I have one one family member that I will still engage with because I called them out and they stopped. They they realized what they were doing and we started having a conversation. Granted, it's not great. We're not bowling every night, but you know, then there's another relationship with a person who has straight up told me, "I don't respect you, so I'm not going to listen to the words that come out of your mouth." And I, with that person, I'm like, okay, well, then you're not going to hear words coming out of my mouth to you anymore. So we're done. <laughs> right. So w- with that you, said, you know, I think we're going to move on to the next caller. We're running low on time. But hopefully that helped. Thank yeah. you so much for calling, Jesse. It's nice to talk to you. Great talk with you, Jenna. Great talk with you, Eric. Take care. You, you too, too, buddy. <laughs>